Hi friends, welcome. Hope you are doing good on I hope you are not safe. So actually I couldn't make few videos from couple of weeks because I was sick. Sorry for that and today I come with an uh, uh, not just an interesting topic but a very useful topic I believe because this is a situation which I faced very new in my aquarium hobby. So many would have already uh, faced or heard about uh, head boy disease in the chichilids. So I never faced because I have kept all the almost all type of African, South Americans, American chichilids but never faced head boy disease. But unfortunately I have some uh, beautiful pair of Panakoporo adults almost 5 to 6 inches big. So they are one of my favorites because that was gifted to me from uh, one of my closest friends. So unfortunately the uh, female was infected with the doy disease and uh, as you know I am uh, actually uh, busy with other stuffs and I, I take care of almost an hour of 30 minutes each day for my aquariums. So it was very tough for me to initially to find out what was actually happening. So usually morning I feed them and again I do uh, look at them only at the evening, the night time. So it was uh, very tough for me to what was going on. But it was very very bad experience for me but luckily I could save my fish. So that is what the topic is about. So I would like to give my real experience what happened and how it began what was the uh, characteristic changes in the fishes what all happened uh, during the entire course this is what the video gonna be so one fine day i just started noticing a small lesions like white lesions skin tears on the top of the forehead forehead or uh, surrounding the eyes so i thought some maybe because i use uh, big driftwoods in the south american tank which i have six foot long so i thought maybe due to uh, any uh, fighting or Maybe would have got scratched karke, then I was a uh, bit uh, negligent on that. But uh, day by day it started increasing. So day two it was more, so day three it was still more. More Then I got worried. Then uh, I thought something is wrong. So But I didn't know it's Edward disease because I never uh, uh, seen it actually how it begins. Because I thought I always appear boom right on the head or in a depression. But that was not the case here. It was like minor scratches, minor uh, skin tear lesions which was turning into an Edward. So actually uh, still beginning it was then in third day I noticed and I suspected yes this may be the Edward disease but even until third day the operator was very good. Operator was very good and fish was very active. Fourth day it was totally down and I could see it was totally away from the entire community. So I thought something is wrong and I suspected Edward disease and luckily it was the same because I am going to uh, show you in the video, I mean upcoming video, uh, the next session where you see what was the uh, day by day changes in the fishes. So what day I did? move the fish to a quarantine tank, increase the water temperature as usual. That is the process what we do for Edward disease and Metrogel, Metrogel 400. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned earlier, I have time only morning 30 minutes and night 30 minutes to spend the, my time with the aquariums. So what I did was regular practice was like every day morning I used to add almost uh, 400 mg into 3, like 1200 mg. So it's like almost 1 gram of Metrogel into the water. Then again night I will come back and again change the 50% of water and again I will be adding another 1 mg, sorry, 1 gram of the metro gel. So this was continuously doing. The moment I started, the moment I started the treatment, I could see big wall, bang, all of a sudden. All of a sudden there's a big wall on the head and it literally scared me because such a beautiful fish, I'm going to post the picture uh, very on um, the uh, upcoming video itself. So I was totally shattered by seeing that a beautiful fish, like entire head was like a big depression. So it was, uh, took me... Uh, into very depression actually after seeing that so I thought I couldn't or I cannot save the fish because the lesion was so big so big that I thought um, fish is gonna die so but I still kept hope and continued the treatment like metro is same every day morning one gram night one gram and constant water change like uh, twice a day uh, twice a day medica medication twice a day water change with the water temperature of almost 29 30 the water was uh, uh, actually warm and being this summer, um, anyways, it helped me to keep the water warm uh, at the stable uh, environment. So, continuous, I think almost for 8-9 days I started giving the, I think not even 9 days, 6 days I believe. 6 days a week I did, then I could see the improvement. And all the throughout this course of 5 or 6 days, there was no appetite. So, I was just uh, trying to feed in very, very little of worms. It was not taking, so I tried with live feed, it was uh, not happy with it. So I could notice the appetite was regained once I think fifth day or fourth day appetite was regained. It was started taking bit by bit, bit by bit. Then I got up little hope that yes, I can definitely save the fish. So fifth, sixth day, it was totally good and it was active. It's not the lesion was not still there, the lesion was still there, but I could see that uh, the entire uh, 
uh, necrosis area was it, and I could see a smooth surface, uh, smooth coating forming on the region and I thought yes, this is the fish is getting stable and I moved, uh, moved her to the main tank at 60 dibg, 60 dibg where still some of the region was there but I was sure that um, she was picking up with her appetite. So moved her to the tank and she is very much happy anyways I am going to show it in the video. So guys it is really not a very serious issue because uh, I never uh, saw this in my real life experience. Uh, Yadoid disease, I never know it, it can be so deadly. So once you see this, uh, the lesions, it uh, breaks you down. Actually, I was uh, literally shattered of seeing such a big lesion on the head. I don't know <laughs> what all pain the fish went through. So just be careful. So just sharing my real time experience, what I did, how I did. So maybe the video, it will be uh, giving you more picture of day one, day two, day three and what success will happen. So treatment I mentioned. Every day, twice 1 gram of metrology and twice the water change of 50%, water temperature of 29 to 30. This will definitely save your fish. The don't worry if appetite is lost for me even for more than a week because everything depends on the, the extent, damage of, uh, extent of damage. So luckily I could notice them early, still the damage was too high. So that's the reason I'm making this topic that this disease is very aggressive. It's not that it's going to take its time. One, two, third day it's going to be boom. So it's gonna, it's, the disease is very very aggressive, so make sure you save your fishes, beautiful fishes from this deadly disease. And I think uh, uh, the next uh, topic which I would like to say is like the, what was the cause, what was the cause. I think the main cause of is feeding uh, dead worms. Even in market we get like sterilized bed worms, but still I don't think they are properly sterilized. This is what I feel. When, uh, maybe there are a few branded uh, uh, branded companies, uh, they may be sterilized, but the live blood worms or the frozen blood worms, definitely I don't feel they are properly sterilized. This is the major cause because I could see successfully feeding the angel fishes for around two weeks or three weeks with the uh, frozen blood worm. And uh, I think that is the straight reason why the fish had to suffer this. So I think better to avoid the uh, sterilized blood worms or so-called sterilized blood worms, which comes in like 200 uh, undergram packets, which says by local uh, sellers by uh, freezing them. So I think better to avoid them and safeguard your fishes from that. That's it guys signing up here. Please uh, watch the video. Uh, you come to know what I was trying to explain. So how deadly this disease is. Take care guys. Any comments or any clarification of Edward, how to treat the Edward disease. Please be happy to write in comment. I will be very much happy to help your fishes. Signing off. Bye bye. Take care. Have a nice day.